Alright, what's up everybody? Today we have Miss Messages, a Steam free-to-play game. I don't really know anything about it except that I think it's supposed to be like stalker stuff. Oh, that's not good. Trigger warning, there are mentions of suicide and self-harm in this game. Uh, shouldn't laugh about that, but that's not a good way to start a game. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. Laptop. Oh my god, these beats are fat. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, it's like it. God dang. And I expect a jam session while I was playing this. Alright, that should be a little bit better for everybody involved. Oh, I need to work, but I'm so bored, I can't focus. Goth GF's iPhone wants to send you a note. What's this? Should I accept it? Sure, why not? Work? I'll uh, just accept it. Oh, it's a dog with glasses. That's pretty dope. So cute. Uh, send me back. Hey, I sent her the little panda thing from Adventure Time, I think it is. Oh no, that's from the panda polar bear thing. I wonder if she'll respond. No respond? Let's get back to work then. Uh, stop, I'm trying to do work. I got time for this nonsense. What even is a four dimensional shape? I don't know. All right, let's accept it. You're welcome, heart. So, Pastel Princess's MacBook Pro, what are you up to? Existential crisis, you know the deal. Existential crisis, my dude, what about you? <laughs> oh my god, that's depressing. All right, hit me with it. Ah, I feel you. I hope I'm not distracting slash bothering you. Did the music stop? Let me know if you ever want to have crisis together. Kind of interesting. I'm currently procrastinating on some work with makeup. See the makeup. Thank you. You're sweet. Let's see the makeup. I'm sure you worked hard on it. Okay. Tell me I'm beautiful, mother. Highly skilled. Such pro skills, you're a talent, we stand. What's that beaver? Oh, that's a heart thing. You seem cool, we should totally hang sometime. Sounds good, why not? Yeah, you're the sweetest. Swing by my- why do I say stuff like that? By room 206 sometime and let's hang out. That's creepy looking. I sleep now, Good night. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll see you later. Scary. Alright, well at least she's going to bed so I can work on my stuff, work stuff. That's a square. I don't know what a four-dimensional shape is. Cube? Cubagonal? Let's go to Spotify. Yeah, let's get some jams that aren't like fucking blow my ears out. But what's this? I like this one the best, I think. How do I close this? I don't know how to work a damn iPhone. Get off my damn computer. Airdrop lets you share instantly with somebody nearby. Cursed image. What's that? Okay, I can't. I'm trying to do work stuff. Work stuff. Yeah, you're this. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? I guess I can leave. Later that night, I went out to beat Goth GF. Before I left, my roommate opened their door. Oh. You're leaving? Yeah, I am. Or, you're leaving. When will you get back? I don't know. Probably after nine. Oh. Why? Um, no reason. Okay, bye then. Wait. She's got two different color eyes. Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. Oh, it's my birthday? Let's go. You remembered. No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Me neither. Of course I remembered. Oh, God. That's creepy. She sang for me sweetly. Thank you. Oh, thank you for being my friend. What? What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Aw. Haha, <laughs> I'll see you later. Question mark. Goodbye. Bye bye. I met up with Goth GF. 
she told me her name, Amy. We laid out a blanket on the roof and started to study. Although we planned on working, we ended up getting lost in conversation. Sky. Sky's gorgeous tonight. I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky has some pretty colors. What do you think when you look at the sky? Nothing for once, only a feeling. What's that feeling? Damn. Nothing. You know when your mind is constantly nosy, noisy? I look at the sky and I realize it's so much bigger than me. My problem, it'd be a problem if it wasn't. My problems would be nothing compared to it. And my mind quiets. That's so poetic. Airdrops. How many strangers did you airdrop besides me? Everyone that showed up, haha, <laughs> maybe five. Did you meet all of them? Nah, only you. I'm the only one? I'm special. We're also the only one to send something back, haha. <laughs> Dang. Why did you reply? I don't know. Bored? Want to meet new people? Meet people? Yeah, I have a lot of friends, but I want more. Especially close ones. You don't have enough right now? Well, I used to have close friends, but we grew apart. I feel you. It's always sad when someone you shared close personal me moments with grows distance. Yeah. It's left a void in my heart, you know? And I try to fill it by meeting new people, talking, dating, sleeping around. Hey, sleeping around. But no matter how many people I meet, I'm still lonely. Um, that's dot dot dot. Yikes, sorry. I didn't mean to make such a weird first impression. Don't feel bad. How about we talk about something else? Let's talk about the arts. So you're into makeup. Hell yeah, I am. God, can you imagine being so po uh, powerful you can transform into different people? Because I can. God is a woman. What? Okay, sure. Uh, expensive? Makeup is so expensive, though. I know. And I shot up out. Whoa, 50 bucks. That's 50 cheeseburgers. And imagine being caught in the rain when you have a face, full face of makeup on. Not good, bro. Imagine needing to cry but holding in because your foundation cost the equivalent of 20 shamrock shakes. I don't even know what a shamrock shake is. So true, haha. <coughs> have you thought about being a makeup artist? Artist? You think I'm that talented? You're sweet. God, that'd be amazing. Competition is fierce, though. I'll just stick with it as a hobby. That's fair. You ever need someone to practice looks on? I volunteer as tribute. You're a beautiful canvas. I'll definitely take you up on that. Let time pass. Time flew in the blink of an eye. Night fell. It's getting late. Yeah, we should head back. That was fun. This was fun. Text? Oh, text me or airdrop me. Haha, <laughs> later, okay? Sounds good. I had turned my phone off to save the battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. Where'd my battery go? You're a great friend. It's not your... F oh, she killed herself. I'm oh, scared. Hey, sweet. What the... F what? That's not good. When I came back home, I felt cold and nervous, but I didn't know why. That's not good. What's up with this red stuff? Whose room is this? Don't come in. Call the police. I'll know what to do. Love May. Don't come in the room. I read the note. Don't come in. Call the police. I'll know what to do. Love May. Oh my god. Don't come in the room. Oh, I'm gonna have to. The door felt heavier than usual. So I opened the door. Uh, god damn it. I saw the body hanging. The smell sight there was no blood but i felt blood on my hands i felt myself looking down on the scene myself her the police that eventually came a disbody feeling i heard myself scream endlessly that feels awful man god damn
My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who, where? Second floor, you probably don't know her. May? No, but that sucks. Most pitied the way she went, but didn't miss her. I remembered her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for the, her in them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still there, here. It was only during the funeral that the reality sunk in. The funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone else forgot and her not being oh, there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit. The time without the anesthesia of shock, this was real. She was dead and we were putting her in the ground. The end missed. No one saw it coming. Could I have? Was there a message I missed? Replay. Well, you hate to see that. God dang. Oh, this is different. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? That doesn't look like May. Come back. Oh, now it does. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail, as if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice, lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please. Don't go alone. This escalated so quickly. She disappeared into the snow. I know I'd miss my chance. I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that, I should start working. My roommate's store. She used to keep it open, now it's usually closed. I remember that dream I had. Is this to start over over again? Oh, I need to work. With that dream, I can't focus. Decline. What's this, should I accept it? Now she's gonna kill herself if I decline it, I bet. Spend 30 minutes trying to understand, but ultimately end up confused. Why am I a fool? A hooligan? An oaf with a PhD in buffoonery? I don't know, dude. I don't know what that means either. No, oh, get off me. I attempt to focus back on my work and succeed for some time. I begin to lose focus again. That's weird. I hear voices. It seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. Klein. Door of my roommate, May. Getting closer, I hear voices. Listen. Although my Chinese was bad, I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Uh, Thailand Lee, why shen me boo? Too lazy, why don't you? Her mother's fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes. Pause for May's soft mo murmur of affirmation then continued. I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have. So I distanced myself from the door. Uh, door of my roommate, May. I hear voices, but I'll respect your privacy. Why? We're... Leave me alone. Leave me alone! I gotta keep my friend from committing suicide. I ain't got time for that. Do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life. Where's Bill and I when I need him to answer my important questions? I don't know, dude. Decline. Get off me. Work. Hmm. Planes Y equals MXB. After some time, I start to lose focus. The noise from my roommate's room has quieted down. Let's go to see what's going on. The door of my roommate, May. I wonder if I should check up on her. Yes. I hesitated, then knocked. For some reason, I feared what I might find. No shit. Hello? So, uh, Yes? Um... Shit, what should I say? You okay? Just wanna make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Aw, oh, thank you, I'm fine. Er... Uh, well... Kind of sad, but don't worry about me. Do you want to hang out with me, in case you don't want to be alone? 
I like that, but I have work to do. Take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Uh, I could use a break to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back into her room to get something. She came back, we laid on the bed, looking out at the setting sun. What's up with my hair? What's a stuffy? Let's figure that one. So what are you holding? Oh, it's a stuffed animal. Oh, my pug. <laughs> I call him potato. <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> oh, he looks so well loved. Yeah, he is. My dad gave him, me him. That's so sweet. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? Haha, <laughs> I forgot, you remembered? Of course I did. Happy stop doing that. <laughs> Just stop, I don't even like it. She's saying my ha me happy birthday, it's so creepy. Oh, thank you for remembering. Yeah, so years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. How are you? So how have you been? I'm just tired. Oof, big mood. How so? I don't know, like a bone deep tiredness? Day after day. What do you mean? Like, every day I wake up, force myself to do something I don't like and go back to sleep. Sometimes I look outside my window and see a whole world out there and feel the struggle of being stuck inside all day. Hmm. Things you enjoy. Cliche, but why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I loved doing, I'd be doing it right by now. But I don't know what I want to do. I'll help you. We'll figure this out together. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you, why are you so good to me? Cause I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. Dream. I had a weird dream. Ooh, what? It was about you actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm? And I called for you but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh, what does it mean? I you just go kill yourself. And I'm trying to stop it. I have no idea, but it's stuck with me. Uh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, if you're still scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Aw oh, yeah, bedtime stories, let's go. Everybody loves bedtime stories. What do you dream? What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing, someone always dies. Like my most recent one, it featured you actually- Wait, what? In a bad or good way? Good? Oh wait, I died in a good way? Go on. Haha, <laughs> there was a massive epidemic. It was gonna wipe out the world. I got infected, I was gonna die. Then you discovered the cure and I was saved. Wow, that's scary. I always knew I was gonna save the world. Haha, <laughs> me too. Yeah, Dream, you really saved me. Parents. Oh yeah, what were those noises about? Hmm? Earlier in your room. Ah, my mom called. Sorry. Did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry though. Yeah, uh... She and I... Is everything okay with you two? I don't know, every time my mom calls... I feel sick, angry. Wanna talk? You wanna talk about it? Talk about what? Why she makes you feel that way? Huh, you sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? I just wanna help you. Yeah, I know. I was always a golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything, so my parents never pushed me hard to do to work hard at anything. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put in effort. The only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yelled at me when they caught me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. Writing would never make money. 
Now my life is slowly falling apart and instead of listening to me and helping me, my parents are yelling at me for wasting time playing games. Wow, thank you for telling me this. That's fucked. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Thanks for listening. That's fucked. <laughs> God, dude. It's okay to be sad. I hope they realize that it's normal and okay to get in a rut sometimes. Regardless, I believe you. Thanks. Uh, why? Why do you think your parents are like that? I have no idea. Okay, some idea. I think it's because they were raised where success meant everything. Mental health was a myth. Their childhoods are a lot more fucked than mine was. I understand that they didn't, they don't know better. And it's hard to learn when you're old, as old as they are, but I think I get it. You do? Yeah, my parents were super scary back in the day. Ever since I moved out and weren't off to live my own life though, they mellowed a lot. I can say I love them and they love me back. Must be nice. I wish I knew whether or not my parents love me. They must. Sounds like they're young and it has good intent, even if it's misplaced. Writing. What did you write about? Before your parents made you stop. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. You can tell me. Okay, you won't laugh? I promise. Harry Potter fanfiction. <laughs> okay, I didn't see that one coming. That was out of the. <laughs> you said you wouldn't laugh. Well, you should have gave a better answer. Sorry, I'm just surprised. Don't be ashamed. That's awesome. I love Harry Potter. Hufflepuff Squad? Uh, if you say so. I do say so. What fan fiction? She said Harry Potter. Write more. Why not do more of that then? Everyone likes writing though. Ah. Anything creative, art, music, writing, it doesn't count. That's not true. There's plenty of successful writers out there. But I'm not them. I'd never be able to make a living out of it. And my parents would get so angry. Poor but happy. Would you rather live the way you're currently living or live poor but happy? Besides, who says you're not good enough to make it profitable? I don't know. What are you thinking? Your parents will go. What? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'm getting to the important part. You're killing me, dude. What are you thinking? Your parents will go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and your parents will be dead in a couple decades anyways. Oh my god, those are my parents you're talking about. I didn't know what he was going to say. <laughs> yeah, that was dickish of me, but you know what I mean Come on, dude This is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. Uh huh. Really? I'm wide awake. I Think I'm just tired in general. How so? You ever feel like every day is the same day? Groundhog day Kind of it's a satisfying sort of monotony a day where I stay inside, windows open, with tea and a book is the good shit. Oh. You not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, go to sleep, and do it all over again. I understand. Huh, I think I can understand that. You can. I mean, I feel like that when I absolutely must do something I don't like. Like math. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're definitely not alone. I feel like a lot of people do things because they are supposed to not because it makes them happy I think it's more than doing things that make you happy though. I Don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at when the screen moves. I need purpose. I want to feel like my life has direction It's cliche, but why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I loved doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to- You want to write, but I don't know what I want to do. Is this constant? You like nothing? Have you always felt like this? Pretty much, yeah. By now, it's not 
a good feeling, but it's comfortable. I'm not sure if I want to change. And even if I did, I wouldn't know how. You like nothing. So you've never enjoyed anything? Everything you've tried is boring? She likes writing, dude. I like moments like these. Moments with people I care about. I don't feel awkward, anxious, just content. Ah, oh, you're gonna make me blush. Huh. And well, I like writing. Well, my parents made me stop. Let time pass? Depressed. You think you're depressed? Um, maybe? I took antidepressants a long time ago, but it felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's a type of antidepressant? Maybe you need to try a different one. Uh, don't take my advice, actually. I know nothing. Haha, <laughs> mean either me n me neither that's what I, me neither <laughs> not, neither N not just about this but in general oof <laughs> same has it gotten better the tiredness not really by now i kind of just want to die suicidal uh let's see are you suicidal um, oh my god, sorry, was that too blunt? Feel free not to answer. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, though. I imagine how it'll go down, how it'll look, smell, the aftermath. Was there anyone would care that I was gone, not just about how I went? No, I can understand. You must be dealing with some shit. Please don't tell anyone. They might kick me out of school. That's the last thing I need. Of course, I won't tell anyone. Thanks. I know where you're coming from, I think. You do? Yeah, then I wouldn't have any problems. But then... I wouldn't have anything after life. There's nothing. Okay. <laughs> Existential crisis again. For me, if this is the only show I get, then why step out early? That's true. Uh, I'm not getting into that. Uh, professional help. Glad you're alive when pain outweighs caring. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm glad you're scared. I don't want you to go. You mean a lot to me. Thanks. What just happened? The sky just attacked. Oh, that's my last choice. We talk more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, everything dawned. I gotta go. I have work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang again. Yay, thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work. I didn't regret talking with May one bit. Oh, wow, time flies by fast. I kind of need to use the bathroom, but must be all that tea. Don't check your, let's go to the bathroom. Let's go in here. Nate's door is open, I wonder where she is. She's at work, we know that. Mirror. Hmm, another day. Dang, I got the high <laughs> jeans. How are, another special occasion to wear whatever I found on the floor. Papers. Oh, it's that, uh, that's an anime, Madoka Magical, okay, I never watched it. My precious Madoka Magical poster, poster, which really is just printout. You all right? Love, May. Hope midterm went well. Got you boba, it's in the fridge. You all right? Oh, boba tea. God, they're cute. Some notes from my friend and roommate, May, which is both distant and a total sweetheart. Plants in the room have proven health benefits. They raise air humidity, reduce toxic elements, and can pr improve productivity and concentration. No, I'm not making excuses for my plant collecting habits. Oh, I just, some people have kids. Wait, we've done. Oh, there's a bunch of different options. Hello, my green leafy best friends. I wanted to be a cat lady, but I couldn't have pets in the building, so I settled to be a plant mom. Hi, plants, you're growing nicely. Am I a female? Yes, keep it up. Yep, well. Yeah, I might be a female. I heard making small talk to plants is good for them, but my god, it's painful. 
My life is collecting houseplants. They're hard to kill, so I get all the benefits but no responsibility. My beautiful plants. If I'm excited, it's probably about plants or food. I brought them with me with my roommate, May, to add life to our rooms. Now we have green friends that welcome us home. Okay, I've read all of it now. Anything else I want to look at? Tea. We love tea. Sometimes I sip tea and fantasize about living a quiet life in a small lighthouse while writing poetry by candlelight. Tea is perfect on a day like this. Beautiful, quiet, calm. I love tea, and that's the tea. Tea is the best drink. Cheap, caffeinated, and tasty. Is tea caffeinated? Sometimes when I don't know what to do, I make tea. Sometimes I sip tea and... Oh, I already did that one. What about my cactus friends? Nothing. <laughs> to let people know I'm gay and don't just like flannels. Okay, that's fine. To announce I'm big gay. <laughs> the feeling when you're really gay and you can't hide it. I'm so excited to let my crush know that I'm just being nice and when I say they're cute. Not saying I'm gay, but that's also kind of what I'm saying. I brought a girl over one time and she saw these and said, you're an LGBT supporter? No, I'm gay for you, damn it. <laughs> to let people know I'm gay and don't just like flannels, that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm trying to smash, dog. Book with titles like multivariable calculus to let people know that I'm a capable member of society. I have never read them. I borrowed multiple variable calculus from my roommate May to distract onlookers from more questionable titles. Like what? So many books. There are literal pockets of Viet Cong in the back of my shelf that I don't know the war is over. Love my books. There's How to Raise a Plant, Piracy for Dumbits, and my favorite memes to movements. I'm an avid collector of useless books from questionable authors such as memes to tell your mom to tell your grandma by Mark Roney. Books with title Okay, I did that one already. Is there anything else to look at here? What about this plant up here? He's looking fancy. Nope, can't touch him. Nope, the papers. I already did this. Nice. Shortly after that day, Ray moved out. I haven't heard from her since. I hope she's okay. Before she left, she wrote me a note. I was buried in the blizzard. Snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. Text her? Hey, wanna catch up sometime? I wonder whether she'll reply. She better reply. I wonder whether she's still alive. She better be. Dan Survivor, surviving one night at a time. Thank you for playing. Game one. What? Ah, dang it. <laughs> okay. Oh, what should I do this time? I'm gonna try it again. I wanna see what happens. Let's see if we get a different ending this time. Let's go check on her again. I hesitated then not. I wanna see what I want the happy ending, damn it. There's this girl I've been airdropping back and forth with. Oh, and about what? 
Memes, haha. Cute. I hope I'm not stopping you. You're busy, we could talk some other time. You're fine. Yeah, you're chilling. Okay, if you're sure. You think she's just sending memes or she's interested in me? Question of our generation. You think she's gay? I don't know. You should ask. Oh wait, I got a common girl too. Yeah, she's gonna have a man voice. I'm the butch in the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I already like someone. Though. Oh, spill the tea, who is it? Um, you probably don't know her. She's a really great friend. Ah, uh, boo. Hit her with it. How do I confess to her in a non embarrassing way? What? Like a way where you can still be friends afterwards if she rejects you. Um... Aha, uh -huh. why not ask her to the movies? Then start putting your arm around her. See if, whether she snuggles up to you, into you. There's good signs of after the movie you could go ask her out on a date. Watch a movie with me. You like to go watch a movie with me? Yeah, I like that. No, I... Never mind. Huh? Nothing. Let me know how it goes, I can't wait. I swear to God. <laughs> oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? <laughs> God didn't work. Haha, <laughs> I forgot. You remembered? Of course I did. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> She's saying me happy birthday. Ah, oh, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. How are you? Uh, I'm skipping the ones I have. I've read it before. Alright, there's gotta be a happy ending where I end up with May, apparently. This has to be the way to the right way. I just did something wrong when I told her her parents were going to die or something. <laughs> that was not the right answer, I don't think. Depressed. It's okay to be sad. Yeah, I like that answer. Why do you not- why not do more of that then? Oh, I already read this. Okay. Oh yeah, we're not doing that one. What are you thinking? What are you thinking of? Uh... I think I could be a good writer if I worked hard at it. But it's so much easier to give up and it's, it's just not work. You could give up. I see struggle as a hill I need to climb to get to the reward at the other end. You could give up, or you could get the reward at the other side. Motivational speaker much? Haha, <laughs> nah. I've just had a lot of hills that I've just wanted to give up on. Have you ever- have you ever given up? Nope, well, sometimes. If it's something I couldn't care less about, like math, haha. <laughs> but if I care about it, then I'll pull through and I'll never regret it. I'm going to work harder to get my life back together. It's tough, though. Yeah, it's hard to work on something you don't like. Give me a math problem and I'll snore. Give me a computer science problem and I'll look at it for hours. Thanks, I really mean it. 
thing my parents got into my head. I needed your push anytime. Let time pass. Talk more about everything. God, that's not it. Let's go to the bathroom. That fail? What the fuck? I opened the door to my roommate May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. Let's make sure there's nothing I'm missing before I interact with her. Hey, are you okay? I I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Hi. What's up with that thing in the background? Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I... I need to go. Hug. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. I wanted to say something, yet didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you, uh... I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you, you're so kind. I made some soothing motions on her back. Why are you sad? Why are you sad? I don't know, I... I don't really want to talk right now. It's okay, I'm here for you. I'm not a professional or anything, but when you need to talk, I'll always listen. Thank you again. Is there anything I can do? Hug, just hug. It's been months since God, I didn't get to get any since that day. May and I have gotten closer. I'd even consider her a best friend. In dark moments we held each other's hands. What if I picked the other one? Although I supported her. I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night. May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Oh, is this a happy ending? Me, what for? I, uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I appreciate you, really. Uh, anytime. Thank you too for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god, no you. No you, universe. You know reverse. God damn it. <laughs> Later that night she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. The end, hope. There's something to look forward to after all. Thank you for playing. All right, one more time. One more time. I'm gonna order my roommate, man. Clicker. All right, what I click? I clicked the other one last time. I gotta click. I just want to see what happens if I click the opposite. Wait. See what happens this time. Thanks for being here. Of course. I know this doesn't look good. I need to punish myself. I don't deserve your kindness. I really don't. Hey. Yes, you do. You're a good person. Of course you deserve kindness. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. The same ending? The months since that day, May and I have gotten closer. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to become dependent on me. So we drove in. Okay, same ending. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This was Miss Messages. It was actually a really good game. Nice little visual novel, and. It was like pretty interactive. I liked it. I enjoyed the ending. I'm glad I could get a happy ending. 
They definitely baited me with the first like path though. That was a good bait because I was like, oh, she's the goth person that I need to take care of. Wrong, it was your roommate the whole time. <laughs> that was good though. Thanks for watching as always. If you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe and bye. Oh, wait a second, I gotta do that better. I lost my voice. <laughs> bye. <laughs>